Hi guys, this is Lisa from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, we'll discuss the difference between AGM and gel battery, which is better. But first, let's start with the differences. So, the main difference between these AGM and gel batteries is their chemistry. AGM, absorbent glass mat batteries, have a lead acid chemistry, where the electrolyte is absorbed in a fiberglass mat. Whereas gel, gelled electrolyte batteries, have a similar lead acid chemistry, but with the electrolyte in a gel-like form. AGM batteries are commonly used in a car as a replacement for traditional lead acid batteries as they are maintenance-free and can withstand more vibration and shock. On the other hand, gel batteries are used in applications that require deep cycling and have a higher risk of spillage, such as in solar power systems. AGM and gel batteries have different charging requirements. AGM batteries can handle high charging currents, and charging them too slowly can cause sulfication of the plates, which can reduce the battery's capacity. On the other hand, gel batteries require a lower charging current, and charging them too quickly can cause the gel to heat up and become damaged. For example, in a marine application, an AGM battery is suitable as a starting battery as it can quickly handle high currents and is rechargeable. In contrast, a gel battery would be appropriate as a deep cycle battery, as it requires a slow charging rate and can provide long-term power. The two also differ in cost. AGM batteries are generally more expensive than gel batteries. This is because they have a higher power density and can handle higher currents, making them suitable for a wide range of applications. Gel batteries have a lower power density and are less versatile, making them less expensive. In camping, an AGM battery would be suitable as it can provide enough power to run a small refrigerator or charge electronics. In contrast, a gel battery would be less expensive and would be suitable for powering low-current devices, such as lights and small fans. But are there any similarities between AGM and gel batteries? Both AGM and gel batteries have lead acid chemistry, which means they use lead plates and sulfuric acid electrolytes to store and release energy. They're also both capable of deep cycling, meaning they can be discharged to a low level and recharged multiple times, without significant damage to the battery. To sum up, which is better, AGM or gel battery? AGM and gel batteries have their unique advantages and disadvantages, and the better choice depends on the specific application. AGM batteries have a higher power density, can handle higher charging currents, and are suitable for a wide range of applications, including automotive, marine, and off-grid power systems. On the other hand, gel batteries have a lower power density, require a lower charging current, and are suitable for deep cycling applications that require slow charging rates. They are less expensive than AGM batteries, but have a limited range of application. Thanks for watching.